United States has continued in its relentless pursuit to maintain its stance as the world's most forward nation in the development of advanced weaponry, and it's no surprise that it has no rival when it comes to heavily investing in weaponry. No other nation comes close. Once again, the US has revealed its newest fighter jet, and the capabilities of this formidable weapon is one that has left the world amazed. The fighter jets show upgrades that the world has never seen before. Indeed, the F-15X has come to stay. Join us as we explore the capabilities of the American new Super F-15X fighter jet that shocked the world. The Boeing F-15X Eagle II is an American fighter jet that has been designed for all weather missions. That is, it is a fighter jet that can operate maximally regardless of the weather. It comes from the older McDonnell Douglas F-15 Strike Eagle. The idea for this plane came from a study by the U.S. Department of Defense in 2018. The Department of Defense wanted to replace the old F-15 CD aircrafts because there weren't enough newer F-22s. The F-35 program was delayed, and they wanted to diversify into the industry of new fighter jets. They plan to utilize the F-15X for tasks like homeland defense from the F-15CD and provide a more affordable way to use big weapons from a distance. Boeing delivered the first fighter jet in 2021, and it should be fully operational by July 2024. This new aircraft is a two-seater fighter jet that boasts of capabilities completely unique to the Air Force's version. The service had previously announced plans to acquire the F-15X as part of the future year's defense program. As the United States Air Force continues to acquire the fifth-generation Lockheed Martin F-13 Lightning II fighter jet, the service will also be receiving the latest upgrade of the Boeing F-15, a platform that first took flight long before many of today's pilots were even born. The U.S. Air Force has planned to increase the purchase of F-15X as an attempt to replace not only its aging F-15 CD fighter jets, but also its F-15 E Strike Eagles, according to official documents. Currently prioritizing the replacement of F-15 CD with the F-15 Eeks, the Air Force did not rule out the chances of doing the same for the Strike Eagles. This plan to expand has faced several disapproval, especially concerning the Air Force's goal to acquire 1,763 F-35A aircraft, a target that has been both established and debated. The justification and approval document explained that the Air Force has planned to quicken the development, upgrade, and deployment of the F-15EX. While the decision to upgrade and refresh the F-15 15E aircraft is still pending, it remains an option. The report confirms awarding a sole source contract to Boeing for the F-15EX, a decision approved by the U.S. Air Force acquisition, Chief Dr. William Roper, in August 2019. The document also laid emphasis on the urgent need to replace the F-15C fleet after facing a shortage of airframe hours, and pointed out the importance of refreshing the entire F-15 fleet, particularly the F-15CD aircraft which is getting obsolete. Replacing the existing F-15E fighter jet with the famous F-15EX is a very important move. And according to David Lee Goldfein, the U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General, adding the F-15EX would not affect the F-35 Lightning II program. However, if the plan later shifts to buying F-15X instead of later F-35s intended to replace the F-15E, it could affect the overall number of F-35A aircraft needed. Additionally, using Boeing's fighter is a way to make Lockheed Martin to lower the costs of both buying and maintaining the F-35. This creates a competitive situation between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, influencing decisions about how many F-35s to buy and how much it will cost over time. Let us take a look at some of the reasons the F-15EX is the most sought-after fighter jet. In 2018, the United States Air Force and Boeing talked about the F-15X, or Advanced F-15. This new version, based on the F-15QA, was suggested to replace the USAF's F-15CDs. They plan to make it better by adding the AMBER system to carry many air-to-air -air missiles, infrared search and track, advanced avionics and electronic warfare tools, an active electronically scanned array radar, and a revised structure with a 20,000-hour service life. They had two options, a single-seat version called F-15CX and a two-seat version called FF-15EX, both having the same abilities. 
the USAF went ahead with the two-seat version, which can be flown by one pilot or a pilot and a weapon systems officer for more complicated missions and, in the future, coordinating combat aircraft together. One major reason for their decision is that only two-seat F-15 models were still being made at that time. The United States Air Force purchased the F-15X to maintain its fleet size, compensating for the end of F-22 production, the delay in the F-35 program, and the aging of its existing F-15s. Although it's not expected to be effective against modern air defenses by 2028, the F-15X can handle tasks like defending the homeland and air bases, enforcing no-fly zones against limited air defenses, and deploying standoff weapons. In July 2020, the United States Defense Department ordered about 8 F-15X for $1.2 billion in the space of over three years. By August 2020, the USAF revealed the plans they had to replace F-15Cs in Air National Guard units in Florida and Oregon with F-15X. The F-15X took its first flight on February 2, 2021, and the first one was delivered to the USAF in March 2021 and flown to Eglin Air Force Base in Florida for additional testing. On April 7, 2021, they officially named the fighter Jet Eagle II. In the defense budget for 2021, $1.23 billion was allocated to buy 12 F-15X planes, making a total order of 20 in the Air Force's possession, but they plan to acquire more, and by May 2022, the USAF had requested 144 F-15X, but is debating reducing it to 80. The first F-15X that will be used in operations won't have conformal fuel tanks. The Air Force's budget plan for 2024 includes money to purchase 24 more F-15X, making the total planned fleet 104 aircraft. On April 18, 2023, the USAF shared that the California and Louisiana Air National Guards would switch from their F-15C-D planes to the F-15X. Also, it was also revealed that the 173rd Fighter Wing at Kingsley Field ANGB in Oregon would focus on training for the F-35A instead of the F-15X. Training for both the F-15E and 15X will now happen at Seymour Johnson AFB in North Carolina from 2020. 26 onward. The fighter jet has a length of 63 feet 9.6 inches, a wingspan of 42 feet 9.6 inches, and a height of 18 feet 6 inches. The wing area is 608 square feet, with an empty weight of 34,600 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 81,000 pounds. The aircraft is powered by two General Electric F-110 GE-129 afterburning turbofans, providing 7,155 pounds of thrust, each in dry conditions, and 29.5 pounds with afterburner. In terms of performance, it can achieve a maximum speed of 1,650 miles per hour at a high altitude and 900 miles per hour at low altitude, with a combat range of 791 miles and a ferry range of 2,400 miles using conformal fuel tanks and external fuel tanks. The service ceiling reaches 60,000 feet and it has a maximum grade limit of plus nine. The thrust to weight ratio is 0.93. Armament includes a 20 millimeter M6101 Vulcan six-barreled Gatling cannon, 23 hardpoints for external fuel and ordnance, and various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. Avionics feature a Raytheon AN-APG-82V1 AESA radar, targeting pods like Martin Marietta Lantern or Lockheed Martin Sniper XR pod, and countermeasures such as the BAE systems and slash ALQ-250 Eagle passive active warning survivability system. The new F-15X fighter jets have new weapons and capabilities. The F-15E, part of this fleet, played a key role in the 199 Operation Desert Storm. It's not just any fighter, it can even carry nuclear weapons and is the first jet allowed to use the latest version of the B-61 tactical nuclear bomb. Despite having only six main Strike Eagle squadrons, there's always at least one ready to be sent out, especially in the U.S. Central Command region, showcasing its unique and useful abilities. The current F-15E planes have two types of engines. The older ones use the Pratt and Whitney, providing about 23,500 pounds of thrust. The newer ones have the F-100 PW-229 engines, giving them roughly 29,000 pounds of thrust, making them the most powerful. The first 
F-15X planes will have the F-110GE-129 engines, also delivering 29,000 pounds of thrust. Boeing can quickly make the F-15X, and this sets it apart. Looking at the investment in the Saudi Arabian F-15SA and the Qatari F-15QA, the F-15X will have around 90-95% to similarity with the Qatari jets. However, it will get some extra features like the Eagle Passive Active Warning and Survivability System. The report says choosing the F-15X will save $3 billion in the long-term defense plan compared to replacing that fleet with F-35s. This is because it avoids the significant costs of transitioning to a new type of aircraft. There are no set plans to replace the F-15E when it retires, and it might stay in service longer with a life extension program. However, considering the situation with the F-15C-D, it might need replacing by the end of this decade. The F-15E has modern technology similar to the F-15X, including upgrades like the Raytheon AN-APG82V1 radar, the new advanced display core processor, and it's also getting the new EPOS self-protection system. According to the current plan, F-15X fighter jet would be given to squadrons that mainly focus on air-to-air -air combat and air sovereignty, providing them with the most advanced and reliable F-15s. This means the F-15 community, handling complex combat missions abroad, would be using older upgraded planes, while the Guard gets new F-15X with extra capabilities. This raises the question of why not replace the F-15E with the F-15X and let the current F-15 CD community get the extra F-15Es. The F-15X can carry a lot, which includes large weapons. This makes it a cost-effective way to deal with quickly changing threats. With its ability to carry a heavy load, cover a long distance, use modern sensors, and have advanced electronic warfare tools, the F-15EX creates various challenges for enemies, whether they are nearby or far away. The F-15X has a remarkable ability to shoot from a much longer distance than any other U.S. Air Force fighter. When it comes to staying less noticeable to enemies, the F-15X introduces innovative electronic warfare tools, ensuring that it remains hard to detect without compromising its ability to carry a heavy load of weapons. It acts as a long-range weapon system, capable of staying far away while still penetrating and surviving in challenging environments where there is strong opposition. This means it can both strike from a distance and operate effectively in areas with a high level of threat redefining how it achieves and maintains low detectability without giving up its payload capacity for survivability. Boeing's F-15X, part of the DOD's production program, is the first to use full-size determinant assembly. It comes with advanced radars, sensors, and networking capabilities for the next generation. The F-15X is ready for action right after production, making it the cheapest, dependable, and quickest way to improve tactical fighter fleets. It has lower operating costs than other fighter jets, while offering four times the weapons, twice the fuel, range, and speed. This makes the F-15X a modern choice that air forces worldwide can add to their fleets quickly by using the newest software digital engineering and open mission systems architecture the f-15x is leading the way for faster and more affordable development of future fighter aircraft as the first full rate production program to use full size determinant assembly, Boeing's F 15X helps in quick modernization to keep up with adversaries and evolving technology. It also supports global allies in developing their national sovereignty. Designed to work seamlessly with other joint force elements, the F 15X is a powerful and survivable weapon system. It delivers the range, maneuverability, and firepower needed to deter and defeat aggression across different mission scenarios. With its next generation capabilities, global allies can benefit from the latest technology and enhance their interoperability within their fleets. Let's look at some of the features of its predecessor. The F-15 has a strong metal body with a wing that's big and mounted high on its shoulders. The wing's shape is like a changed delta, and it has a 45-degree angle when looking at the leading edge. Ailerons and a basic high-lift flap are at the back edge of the wing. It doesn't use flaps at the front edge that move separately. This is made simpler by having a low wing load and a fixed front edge that changes shape along the wing. The thickness of the wing varies, being 6% at the base and 3% at the tip. The F-15 showed it could fly with just one wing 
after an Israeli F-15 had a mid-air crash with an A-4 Skyhawk in 1983. Most of the right wing was gone after the collision. The A-4 broke apart instantly, and its pilot ejected automatically. The F-15 started rolling out of control. Pilot Zivi Nadivi used a full afterburner and landed at double the normal speed successfully at Ramon Air Base. Later tests in a wind tunnel using a one-wing model confirmed that controlled flight was only possible within a specific speed range and angle of attack. This incident led to further research on technology to adapt to damage, resulting in a system called the Intelligent Flight Control System. The F-15 is equipped with a versatile avionics system for various missions, including a head-up display, advanced radar, AN-ASN-109 inertial guidance system, flight instruments, ultra-high frequency communications, tactical air navigation, and instrument landing system receivers. Additionally, it features an internal electronic warfare system, identification friend or foe system, electronic countermeasure suite, and a central digital computer. The HI displays important flight information gathered by the avionics system, allowing the pilot to track and engage enemy aircraft without diverting attention to cockpit instruments. The F-15's radar systems, APG-63, and 70 pulse Doppler are highly versatile. They can detect and track targets at various altitudes and ranges, distinguishing between high-flying and low-flying targets without interference from ground clutter. The radar provides essential target data to the central computer for effective weapon deployment. In close combat situations, the radar automatically acquires enemy aircraft, projecting this information on the HUD. The electronic warfare system of the F-15 offers threat warnings and automatic countermeasures against specific threats, enhancing its overall capabilities. The F-15 can carry different air-to-air -air weapons using an automated system controlled by the pilot through the head-up display and controls on the engine throttles or control stick. The display guides the pilot when switching between weapons. The Eagle can be equipped with a combination of four air-to-air -air weapons, AIM-7F slash M-Sparrow or AIM-120 AMRAM missiles at the lower fuselage corners, AIM-9L slash M-Sidewinder or AIM-120 AMRAM missiles under the wings, and a 20mm M-61 Vulcan Gatling gun in the right wing route. For additional fuel, low drag conformal fuel tanks were created for the F 15C and D models. These tanks, attached under each wing, increase the aircraft's range without the need for in flight refueling. Although they slightly affect performance, they have less drag than regular external tanks and cannot be discarded in flight. Each conformal tank can hold a 750 United States gallons of fuel. The F 15E is the only variant regularly used using these tanks, and they have also been sold to Israel and Saudi Arabia. The tanks allow the attachment of Sparrow or AMRAM missiles, and all external munition stations remain available when the tanks are in use. The United States Air Force is the biggest user of the F-15, with the first F-15B delivered in November 1974. The initial Combat Ready Eagle, delivered to the 555th Tactical Fighter Squadron in January 1976, was equipped with the Hughes Aircraft APG. G-63 radar. Israel was the sole operator to focus on the air-to-ground capabilities of the F-15 variants, utilizing them in strike missions due to their extended range compared to other Israeli aircraft in the 1980s. The first known strike mission occurred in 1985 during Operation Wooden Leg, where F-15s attacked PLO headquarters in Tunis. Israeli F-15 variants have since been upgraded to carry a broader range of air-to-ground weapons. The ASM-135 missile was created as a way to neutralize the enemy's satellites, with the F-15 serving as the initial stage. To avoid detection, the F-15 carrying the A-SAT would look like any regular F-15 flight, making it difficult for the Soviet Union to connect it to a satellite loss. Between January 1984 and September 1986, two modified F-15As were used to launch the ASAT missile. The aircraft had special modifications, carrying one ASM-135 on the center line with additional equipment on a unique pylon. During the third test in a series of five, a retired P-78-1 Solar Observatory satellite in a 345-mile orbit was destroyed by kinetic energy. The pilot, United States Air Force Major, Wilbert Doug Pearson, achieved the unique feat of being the only pilot to destroy a satellite. The ASAT program officially ended in 1988. With all these capabilities, since the F-15 EECS is an upgrade of the F-15, the world should be ready to witness the most formidable and unrivaled fighter jet in the history of aviation. Thanks for watching.
While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.